Всім доброго дня. Good afternoon, everybody. Let us continue. Let us um, get our surprise at the very end of our intellectual effort. And in this our session, we will look more not at the local level, but at the national level. And I suggest to focus uh, uh, at the uh, uh, coordination between local, uh, local level and national level. That's why I would like to, inv uh, to invite Mr. Ivan Rupski, who will um, uh, speak uh, uh, on behalf of the local communities. Um, good afternoon. I would like to thank to the Dobre program who had invited our association of the um, amalgamated local communities of Ukraine to uh, this uh, e event um, and uh, our uh, territorial community, uh, which had been successful, but uh, after uh, establishment of the um, association, it, it uh, has become even more successful. Our association of the territorial communities actively helps local communities. As for me, I chair the platform of uh, uh, local economy and investments, and uh, we uh, assist in development of the concepts, programs, initiatives, uh, in economic development, and we carry out trainings around tables for the territorial communities, which is a good platform for um, cooperation between communities uh, and a good uh, platform for training. So our problem issues, which we try to tackle, uh, 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 are focused on three areas. First of all, these are potential investments uh, uh, to the local communities. Uh, uh, we have received a lot of responsibilities, and many of those responsibilities require um, you know, funds, financial resources, and we are doomed to uh, develop investments into our local communities because uh, we um, have to cover all those uh, um, payments to, to do what we have to do. Uh, uh, we disseminate uh, digest of the available investment opp opportunities. The second big focus of my subsector, this is about resource management. One of those types of resources that we have to manage, this is land or mineral resources. We uh, lack good roads for the um, local communities. And uh, in order to be able to repair all those roads, we need uh, um, uh, stones, uh, we need sand, we need construction materials which could be found around our communities, but we do not have a, um, the right to use them. Uh, as for land resources, there are a lot of land resources around, rock or around local communities which do not belong to them. And uh, now we uh, <clears throat> work very actively how to legalize our access to the resources. The next issue, uh, which is uh, um, of primarily importance for us, uh, are assets. And uh, there are 
assets uh, which are for example constructed in the fields they are not registered in the state register of assets uh, properties and they pay no taxes and uh, uh, those taxes should go to our budgets and uh, now we uh, uh, struggle how to register them and uh, uh, the next uh, uh, are uh, financial resources. We have to pay our um, interest rates for borrowed money, and uh, that's why we are thinking about industrial parks, uh, how to develop those industrial parks, which uh, may attract uh, uh, middle and uh, uh, middle um, and small size uh, businesses to our local communities. Of course, doing all that, we have to think about the well-being of local communities. Having said that, I would like to uh, 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 discuss the following uh, aspects. Uh, studying the best practices uh, 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 in various areas like uh, dairy farms, like uh, um, uh, agricultural cooperatives. Uh, and in this context, uh, I am going to sh uh, to refer to uh, the well-being in Andreevka uh, uh, cooperative enterprise, where they have 145 employees. Uh, they have attracted uh, uh, more than $100 of uh, financial uh, funds. And they produce uh, a lot of uh, uh, production and uh, uh, they managed to develop uh, um, this diary, and what is even more important, uh, they have cows. Cows are becoming a rare animal in our um, villages. Uh, and uh, they manage not to uh -huh, they got uh, subsidies from local budget because they um, they able to contribute their uh, earned money uh, by their cooperative farm. Uh, uh, also, they raised the issue about uh, privileged uh, l loans. Uh, privileged credits with uh, uh, better interest rates uh, to agricultural uh, productions like this and uh, 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 and they are thinking how to become an exporter of uh, food products uh, about c communal enterprises Vasilivska uh, 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 territorial community uh, in Dnipro Petrovsk region, they have established a special enterprise which offers over uh, overhaul of roads. They lack uh, territorial communities in general lack uh, financial resources for. Uh, the roads and repair, and we suggest to increase uh, of payroll up to 80 percent, uh, but this would allow to um, have the uh, development budget in local communities. Then some roads between villages are not uh, uh, transfer to the responsibility of uh, um, local communities. Our residents have a lot of uh, complaints uh, and claims against uh, poor quality of the 
um, that roads uh, when we appeal to the regional level um, Uh, and uh, today we insist that the roads uh, should be transferred to our responsibility because uh, we cannot wait uh, till the regional authorities would do that. Uh, the next issue is about tenders. Uh, recently, we bought a new equipment for the road uh, construction, but tenders uh, um, for equipment are a um, big problem. Uh, and uh, um, there might be tender on materials, uh, but for equipment, we disagree because we bought it in our own money and uh, uh, oh, these are our roads which we wish to repair with this equipment. So these were the problems which we tried to uh, resolve at the level of the Verkhovna Rada. Then about industrial pa uh, parks. From my own experience, I would explain uh, uh, when we first decided to develop the industrial park, we uh, produced the uh, 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 the uh, design of the industrial park. Uh, the Verkhovna Rada we request, have a request to you, please make uh, 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 favorable requirements that may speed up the design process. Uh, and it took a long, long period of time, and uh, uh, e eventually we had to finalize the master plan for the industrial park ourselves. Uh, then state geocadaster also took a long, long period of time for location of the land plot. Uh, they are very slow. They do not uh, allow us to move forward with all that bureaucratic procedures. And uh, during that long story, when um, uh, a lot of time was wasted, uh, uh, the uh, local geocadaster uh, 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 without no coordination with us, allocated uh, um, mm, mm, several land plots on the territory of our uh, uh, technical park to uh, mm, other investors. And uh, uh, Mm, I um, nevertheless hope that some solution would be found and uh, that infrastructural s subvention will be resumed and uh, it will be allocated for the development of Dutch industrial parks. Thanks uh, to the Dobra program, we studied experience in uh, uh, Sweden, in Poland, in Canada, and we observed how the industrial parks can uh, function. In Poland, uh, um, the 
uh, territorial community allocate land one this while well, the state uh, builds uh, uh, the infrastructure and then european union provided the investor this used to be much easier and uh, the last request to the Verkhovna Rada is as follows. Please do not m take uh, allocated money from us at the end of the year. Usually the money allocated for the current year, they start coming in uh, uh, the uh, late uh, um, uh, later half of the year and uh, we do not manage to use this money properly. And about land, there are a lot of uh, agreements for the rent of uh, local uh, land with the, which were concluded more than 10 years ago. So, and that contracts are very cheap, only 1.5% of uh, uh, revenue and uh, that's nothing actually and uh, we want to bring this uh, land back to us um, uh, to offer uh, more better conditions uh, uh. then about uh, farmers uh, we have many so-called individual farmers uh, who do not process their land by themselves they simply rent it to bigger farmers and uh, um, get income as for the state property and assets they should be registered uh, and seen by the tax administration and eventually our uh, uh, platform of our association uh, is uh, uh, to balance the needs of the uh, national state and the local communities. In Sweden, for example, they have very powerful uh, association of local communities. So they discuss uh, the um, issues at the local level, at the level of their associations, and uh, thus they are able to implement their overall national policy uh, very effectively at the local Local level. So I wish to all of us to be able to ensure this in Ukraine. Thank you, Ivana. We have understood position of your association. So you are like a bridge between the uh, um, uh, national and uh, 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 local level, and I observed how the representatives of the local, uh, of the national uh, level uh, um, uh, observed. When you mentioned about 80% of the payroll tax, that it should go to the local level. So you wish uh, to be more supported from national level, and uh, you wish to get more local taxes for yourself, to retain them more for yourself. Um, so we have heard your uh, situation. Now the floor goes to Mr. Vitaly Bezgin, Member of Parliament, who is head of the Subcommittee on Administrative and Territorial um, uh, um, Organization. Uh, this are uh, current our panel is the logical end of our today's conference. My uh, uh, experience uh, in organization of the fora um, proves that at the local level. Uh, uh, the most important issue is how to stimulate uh, economic development. That's why we have invited Mr. Vitaly Bezgin. Please tell us what the Verkhovna Rada is doing uh, in it. Thank you very much for this invitation. And uh, 
There were many opinions during this discussion, and we thank uh, for this intellectual discussion. And the uh, Swedish experience is really great. And uh, this is um, uh, maybe in 100 years we will be able to reach the level that they have in Sweden. They created communities longer than we do now. Now about legislation what is going on now and what we plan. I will start with some framework story. I agree that uh, constitution, technical and framework things, locally they are not so important. Locally they need money to develop. This is fundamentally important. But I would like to tell you about the work of our community and uh, what we will have in the nearest future. First, that we have uh, this awareness day, that this is uh, law on uh, the basis of uh, uh, local policy, and uh, there will be proper subordination of strategies. And uh, if the strategy of the community does not correspond to higher level strategy, they won't be able to get funds. And I won't go into de detail about income tax, which is uh, will focus on this issue, about other things, state administrations and not of big concern about local self-government. There won't be new law on this. If you ask people locally, do we need a new law? No, we do not need it. We need to bridge the gaps in legislation now about resources, about sources for financing, whether to provide new sources or not. I will touch upon different aspects concerning life of the communities. We should start uh, with this uh, uh, income tax. Uh, associations say that they need 80 percent, but we should um, administer local taxes properly. Taxes should go to communities. We should be honest uh, before communities, before uh, the ministry and state fiscal service. Uh, is not interested in administering local taxes, but they do not have uh, sufficient staff and resources for this. Uh, they need to fill up state budget. Now, about uh, income tax, um, and on Wednesday there will be uh, 13 draft laws that will be considered <coughs> concerning rates uh, of income tax. I will mention only one aspect. We need to start not with the rate, but with the approach how to calculate this income tax. We have big cities, they have everything, and local small communities where they have some production, they have obsolete infrastructure, and they provide some services that for people there. My colleague will voice his position on this. About land, for all local government bodies and for the parliament, um, and uh, we believe that the 20, uh, draft law 2194 uh, will uh, be signed, whether it resolves all the problems. No, it doesn't. There are many issues. Uh, uh, there was draft law 3131. And um, in the tax committee, um, it was uh, discussed, and also we wanted to re um, register a new version of this draft law, and we need to move these draft laws forward. This is socially and politically unpopular topics. So they will get negative response from society. Also, one unpopular thing we should speak about. This is about the land. This is about development of rural territories.
So the of stage free should. Service. There we should be monetization the of the issue. So 90% uh, of these plant plots, they are sold, and others accumulate these land plots in their hands. And we need proper management uh, from local government bodies. We do not need to politicize the process at the top level. So this is an important issue of free land plots that were allocated to people. Uh, now, uh, about state fund for regional development, about uh, subsidy for regional territory, we understand that rural territories should be developed. We should stimulate communities. And uh, draft law 4200 uh, is needed for this. And the profile committee should consider it. And also changes to constitution. These are framework things that do not directly influence quality of life of people at the local level. And uh, I won't go into detail. Maybe we will speak about important issues during Q&A session. Thank you. Thank you, Vitaly. When we look at these processes, we see that people got tired uh, concerning these issues. We understand that constitutional changes are needed, but as local development uh, is important, and uh, we need to find proper instruments. And people mention often uh, fund for regional development. Uh, Vyacheslav Rublev will tell us more about legal changes and the changes in the sphere of uh, um, the work of the f state fund. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have this forum in Kiev. We had the forum in Volyn region. We gathered communities and uh, colleagues from the committee came and we discussed painful issues concerning local self-governance and uh, reform of decentralization is being completed. And uh, maybe we would like to have better results because we really care about communities. Uh, we, uh, what I mean, there are responsibilities, but not enough money. And when reform was introduced, local budgets uh, were calculated differently. There was no COVID and other challenges. Many communities now are just surviving. They lack budgets for development, and I believe that we need state regional policy, state support that will be directed to those communities that need this assistance. Of course, this is about um, fund of development, this is about income tax, and the state fund um, is really important. Uh, this fund of regional development locally deals with administrations. People cannot influence on the issues. And in our committee and some committee, we repeatedly consider these issues. We should delegate representatives of uh, deputy court to the commissions at the local level. And we address the minister to change the commission because uh, um, many are subordinated uh, to the administration and the local deputies. And we believe that uh, we have the associations of uh, uh, com communities. Um, and uh, um, we believe that the representatives uh, should be in, the, on, uh, in these committees. Then there will be proper 
prioritization because these people clearly understand these issues. We should understand that social facilities, kindergartens, schools, medical centers, they are really important. But state funds for regional development, I believe, first of all, should be directed at development of business projects that would bring money to communities. And uh, I remember about a year ago, two years ago, um, in the Rivna region, there was a project that was implemented that was supported by the Fund for the Regional Development to create new employment in the communities. And this is about profit and people are staying in the community. We traveled to Valin Oblast. We have shown successful enterprises. This is near a border with Poland. We understand that many people go to Poland. And uh, one of our entrepreneurs built a facility for cattle for 3,000 heads of cattle. And the people in his community work in this enterprise. They do not go to Poland. There is proper salary and for these people. And um, communities and business, uh, they um, uh, and it is difficult to undergo a state uh, uh, construction inspection and uh, this uh, uh, human factor of this inspection prevents registration of the start of construction works despite what this community or individuals who want to develop their business and the community. That's why this issue of state construction inspection is one of the priority issues for the community. About income tax, in Valing, uh, or blessed uh, um, Vitaly maybe didn't have, uh, hear everything uh, during the discussion. There were several sectors. One legal person and uh, everyone else pays uh, income tax and uh, there is a fiscal service that is in the center. They are interested in the state taxes and they uh, want these taxes to be paid uh, where these um, uh, taxpayers uh, um, reside. Uh, on the whole, I would like to say that part of my colleagues uh, believe that legal persons uh, uh, affiliates, uh, they should get the status and income tax should be paid at the place of the facilities. And this was mentioned by the heads. Uh, some of them have enterprises that can be legally registered and they may bring profit to communities. Some heads do not have such enterprises and people who work in enterprises in other communities, they go back. Children visit, uh, attend schools uh, and kindergartens and uh, um, income tax should be paid where people reside. And others who have enterprises, they say that uh, we worked in order to bring investors uh, and we need to get uh, benefit from this. Because if people do not work here, if they play, uh, if they work in other communities, they will get uh, a profit without um, uh, environmental risks and other overloads on the structure. And in Valink, this discussion reached the point that first uh, we should register these enterprises legally in the communities and second issue may be we should split 50-50. 50 goes uh, after a person when there is a proper infrastructure that is supported and people should pay uh, for their community and 50% uh, is paid where, the, where this person is working. So um, if one community involves uh, people and bring people and create enterprise and others will get this preference because they have 
um, uh, people who reside in the territory, so this won't be fair. So we believe that this issue of income tax is really important, and we will discuss this issue further. And committee didn't reach final conclusion, but we will try to take into account the interest of the communities. And um, I will go back to the uh, fund. Um, we prepared draft law 4200, and uh, the ministry and communities are waiting for adoption of this draft law. It will regulate the use of funds and also the funds for the fund for the regional development will increase, and uh, it will be. Uh, Maybe you know that um, this uh, state fund, um, in, the state, in the state fund for development, money is lacking, and uh, social and infrastructure projects should be uh, financed through this fund, and uh, also centers for provision of uh, services. Uh, 231 million was allocated by the state for these centers, and the state should have allocated 2 billion for these centers. Many communities do not have such centers to provide services. I believe that this draft law. Uh, due to committee, this draft law was started, and we should uh, um, finance this uh, issue because um, these centers for provision of services brings services close up to people, and uh, these things that I have outlined, we've discussed these issues during the Evelyn Forum, and I believe that our main task, and Mr. Lutier mentioned it, that 4200 draft draft law should enter the walls of the parliament, and we support this draft law, and we hope that there will be support of the uh, deputies for this draft law. And uh, uh, Ivan Lukiria said that he uh, will uh, come soon, so now I would like to give the floor to our next colleague, and then um, I will provide uh, uh, you the floor to provide a remark. I have a small remark. I agree with Vyacheslav mostly. We work in the same committee about income tax, uh, whether it should be uh, at the place of residence or at the place of work. This is like about chicken and egg. It depends on the priorities in the state policy, whether it is about human capital or the attraction of investment. And um, based on this, we may take a decision. But there is no single position concerning this in the regions. So uh, we should have this position. And uh, then uh, about the centers, for provision of services. Uh, subsidy is uh, um, not enough. And um, the one, uh, 104 communities will get money to equip these um, uh, centers, and 61 will get money to establish the centers. So about reform of uh, uh, the fund for the regional development. We should not politicize this issue. We should communicate with Dobra and regional forums. And uh, people's deputies, uh, they are considered political figures by people. And this is not a rigid vertical of power, and if you have proper communication with deputies, it's great, but other people do not perceive these people that they are capable to resolve this issue. And uh, uh, you lead and the Dobra program, they uh, um, 
a uh, also uh, are involved in this process. Maybe my colleague will add more on this. So I heard a lot of things, and now I doubt what to start with. I will start with the income tax. I will start with the main thing, with money. I look at the draft law, and uh, I see that a lot of drafts were prepared, and no draft ha has calculations how it will influence a different categories of the community. So uh, I do not know what this uh, will result in for people. There are communities where this income tax is 2 billion, and in others they have only 10 million, so 5% to 5 billion. 10 million, uh, these, uh, this is really small money. And uh, we have 10 billion that go to the regions from the state, and uh, 90 uh, million go to small communities. And if we give uh, the same amount to rich and uh, poor communities, rich will get uh, more, and uh, poor will get uh, too little for them. So please, dear colleagues, do not do this. Uh, second, budget leveling that is connected to the income tax. If we do not change budget leveling and uh, we change the figures, we will fail all local budgets. Third, bu uh, third thing, where should we pay this income tax? We have Novogorod Siversky community, 1,800 uh, um, uh, 1, uh, square uh, meters. So, uh, kilometers. so this, um, so we have poor territory there. And this territory is not done correctly. They do not have unity there. So these issues should be resolved. These are urgent issues. And how should we resolve these problems? We should do it simply. We should increase economic capability. And how should we do this? And we may do it uh, if we involve people. This is not about land. This is not about income tax. This is not about other things. If we don't have people, we won't have any economic capability there. And people are demography. Look at demography. 15, 20 years and uh, 50 uh, years of age. So we have uh, 55, 60 years of age. Uh, we have twice as many of them as young people. So in uh, uh, 20 years, we will have um, two times less people uh, who are able to work. So we should help people to self-actualize in their communities. The role of the state is really big here. For development, the classic of economics say that in order to have 8 or 10 uh, percent of growth in GDP, you need to have 25, 30 percent of investment of GDP yearly. But this is not enough. We need 5 percent of public investment in people, in pe people's capital, in human capital, because um, business does not invest in human capital. Um, so we have 16 percent uh, of GDP and 2.5 in the public investment. So we should calculate this. We should count on this. We do not have more. So this is the issue of efficiency of public investment. And what is efficiency? Efficiency, unfortunately, is identified not by the commission, whether we are on the commission or you are on the commission. We have our thoughts and interests. You have your own thoughts and interests. Efficiency is identified by the right planning, by the right strategic planning and adherence to the strategic planning uh, in reality. So the draft law that was mentioned, that is in the Verkhovna Rada, uh, the law on the changes to the regional policy, it is directed to 
uh, direct uh, right uh, strategic planning and right implementation. This is not about commission, uh, and uh, uh, it should not say to whom this should be given. We should identify where we are moving, and uh, we should identify the stages, identify priorities, and then in the framework of these plans, uh, financial should be done. So uh, if uh, there is no money, there should not be any plans, and uh, there should not be any plans without money. So uh, what we see now, road fund. It is distributed uh, in one way. Uh, uh, f state fund for regional development, uh, they have their own distribution culture. Um, uh, money is distributed uh, uh, differently. So um, uh, uh, so uh, people travel to one city, they travel through Samchik. Uh, you may um, go there, but you need to have a good road. Uh, but in accordance with big construction, they built three kilometers in the field. They uh, used this money, and uh, so uh, there is no right distribution of uh, uh, money for roads, and there should be proper synchronization. Uh, so this draft laws should uh, coordinate everything, but the ministries, they, they take out some things. Uh, for example, they do not uh, influence on this, and they do not want to deal with some issues. So we should have proper attitude to this uh, draft law. We should have intellectual approach, as you've said. So uh, now draft law 4200. This draft law consists of uh, three parts. Uh, the, in the President's order, it is stated that this is stimulation and budget code. The budget code was made a year ago. Uh, the uh, law about changes entered the parliament two weeks ago, and the third component of it is just wandering around the government. Uh, and uh, the moment when we pass the first one about the budget, because it will pass the budgetary committee, then we'll pass the second a bit later, and eventually we will perhaps or maybe not pass the third one. This won't be the um, one package. and. Uh, the idea, the overall idea of that three laws uh, will be ruined. So now uh, uh, summarizing what is the most important. My encouragement to the local communities is uh, to think about people. Look at your demography. Analyze what you will have uh, in uh, five years. Just make your age and gender analysis, and you will understand what you need to build, what you need to develop. If you uh, have 80% of population who are are um, aged people, and 70% of them are we, uh, women. This is this will mean one uh, way of de development. And uh, if a majority of your population are young uh, uh, people uh, of uh, the f um, and they are all uh, believers in a faith which promotes uh, uh, birth uh, uh, rates, uh, then this will be another uh, way of development. Uh, uh, if you just plan the industrial parks, you will get nothing. If you start thinking about the people, this will uh, uh, bring you eventually to success. If you are dreaming about uh, uh, something which will give you immediate results, easy and immediate uh, results, uh, um, this would not be uh, 
uh, quickly. And if uh, you uh, imagine that you will administer the uh, uh, payroll tax in your local community, this will immediately raise your administrative costs and you will get zero investments at all. Uh, I believe that the majority of people who work uh, uh, in this program eventually uh, form the general perception which will change the situation for the better. I hope that uh, uh, this later this week we will review the draft laws and we will find what uh, to do. We have a small GDP. Without uh, GDP, we will have no money. But without people, we will not have even that small GDP. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Tkachuk, during the previous uh, uh, part uh, that was uh, presented, the uh, results of the opinion poll, and it proved that money are not uh, the most important thing. The most important thing was attention to the people inside the local community. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Petrakov, let us uh, open our discussion. First question is about the Ministry of Culture and uh, about development of the local economy. Mm, thank you for invitation. Mm, I represent here the um, Ministry of Culture and the Informational Policy. Uh, but I would uh, like to refer to the uh, Ministries of Finance position. Usually they keep saying how if effectively you use your resources up to the uh, uh, 40% or 70% of uh, uh, local community resources are spent on education, whether these are um, investments or costs. Are, or, uh, I believe that these are investments because uh, this is an investment in the human capital. Then, uh, 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 the investments into uh, tourism and uh, leisure. Uh, this is, again, these are not costs, these are investments, uh, because uh, uh, such people will be able to work creatively and develop their local communities. Uh, 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 When I hear the question, what is uh, what what it is with the what is it the culture and how it is developing uh, 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 in average local communities uh, uh, spend up to five percent of their resources on culture. And at the same time, investments on uh, into culture are at the level of two percent, while the Europeans spend up to thirty percent. While for Ukraine, we need up to fifty percent. So my uh, uh, my advice to the local communities is uh, to invest into culture up to 50 percent. Uh, you heard about such uh, programs as big restoration, travel around Ukraine, um, uh, tourist magnets, uh, uh, 
media, uh, media literacy program. These are on, about your people in your local communities. Uh, I believe that all of you know that there is such thing as Ukrainian cultural fund and during that period of time during the three years uh, the local communities uh, had grown uh, 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 considerably their part in the Ukrainian cultural fund projects and uh, um, we even have uh, hybrid programs, culture and tourism uh, uh, in the regions. And now this is a joint program of the Ministry of Culture, Ministry of the Regions, and Ministries of the Economy. And uh, even the donor programs had joined this program. Uh, the local community, it is not about uh, education or the Com uh, uh, municipal services, and I fully agree with uh, um, uh, Mr. Tkachuk that thinking about your local strategies, think about the needs of your local people. Now we have learned uh, how to develop better regional strategies, and we have uh, uh, specific uh, targets uh, within national uh, program of regional development. And uh, um, we have developed new uh, projects based on the national presidential projects, new strategy of the government. But uh, speaking about all that, we have to rethink whether there's a totally new money. And by the way, Minister of Finance uh, keeps saying that a lot of money allocated uh, to different cultural, uh, regional, industrial products uh, programs each year uh, come, come uh, quite often. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities, but uh, um, the uh, question is how how we uh, can use it. Yes, we know that uh, uh, quite a lot of money uh, are come back to the national budget. Uh, And now about the centers of creative economy. When we discuss the growth points in the regions, so we come back uh, to the industrial country with big industrial projects, uh, and uh, we start thinking that we have to build up a new industrial uh, center in a remote village, and it would start to flourish. Uh, uh, look, the, today Bulgarian mayor had shown the resource, how they used resources, made it attractive for tourists, and they uh, um, flourish. Uh, you should look at the resources of your local community and start to use it, use it fruitfully and uh, uh, d discover how to use uh, 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 additional local resources. As of now, we all work separately, local authorities, national authorities, and businesses. While you should unite your efforts, thank you, Yaroslav. Now we have Mr. Ivan Lukeria from the Ministry of uh, uh, development and uh, uh, of regional development. Now I suggest to give the floor to uh, to Vyacheslav. We'll continue to work on decentralization today later in our parliamentary committee. 
the challenges that we face today should be made known to us as NMPs and let us uh, uh, to, uh, to learn how we can help you. Uh, as an MP from the Volin region, I work with uh, my local communities. Vitali uh, works uh, um, uh, with a uh, um, uh, bigger uh, number, even with bigger number of local communities. He could be caught uh, at any moment uh, in the downtown Kiev by representatives of local communities. Uh, um, so my message is that we will work hard to um, uh, bring together local communities and to produce um, meaningful uh, joint policy. I would like to respond to what Mr. Tkachuk mentioned. I absolutely agree with you that uh, neither uh, of the 13 draft laws on payroll tax does not contain any uh, exact calculations. Uh, and uh, um, and uh, uh, about strategic development and analysis of the democracy. Uh, Ivana Frankivsky is a good example. They have uh, understanding of their demography and they design the strategy aimed at its, uh, its approval. It seems to me that our committee is very open. Uh, hopefully, we will find how this uh, uh, what we can do. Thank you uh, for the invitation. Thank you for moderation. Thank you, Vitaly Vyacheslav. And now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Ivan Lukera, Deputy Minister of uh, uh, Territorial Development. Would you please uh, uh, um, describe what uh, for what uh, changes we may expect uh, uh, what will happen if the law number 4200 will be passed? First of all, we have a big problem with implementation of the best laws. And, uh, and uh, now we are dealing in, with this draft law, with the reform, which is already done and aiming just to improve it. What we had done during the last year, we had connected the Regional Development Fund with the to, uh, strategic priorities, and uh, we have not uh, started the new projects. We just continued what was uh, uh, already started, and we allocated money to the specific uh, um, uh, objectives of strategic planning. Uh, then we had uh, divided the um, uh, 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 money into subsections, and each uh, uh, subsection was allocated for a specific budget uh, item, like uh, for education separately, for healthcare separately, for some local specificities separately, etc. 
and assessed uh, the de demand in that money separately for each local community. Mm -hmm. Around 30% uh, of limited resources were uh, uh, allocated for the development of local authorities, uh, uh, local development uh, projects. And we found out that local communities, uh, uh, um, at least many of them, had no uh, understanding what did the development uh, mm -mm project uh, uh, mean and many communities just focused on construction and that's it. Uh, uh, you mentioned that a lot of uh, money which allocated they uh, at the end of the year go b back to the budget but uh, by the way, the, during the last year, we managed to spend 90% of all the allocated money. This was the biggest uh, indicator for the last five years. Mm, uh, what uh, else we um, require from uh, local authorities to plan for the future, that is, uh, the, the, based on the top priorities of state strategy, that is, they have to plan in advance looking at the strategy. Uh, uh, then about institutional changes, we had approved the state strategy of regional development and action plan to it, which requires passage of 21 law, more than 240 decisions of the government, and in general, uh, 207, that is 207 uh, measures, uh, uh, are required for three years in order to uh, support or back up the regional policy. This will bring systemic changes uh, to the, this reform. Then uh, uh, funding based on um, territorial approach for the village uh, uh, or urban territories, uh, uh, if there's a rural territories and uh, they have uh, problems with the development, this may be similar irrespectively of the regional uh, position. And uh, we try to uh, tie uh, or correspond uh, the uh, tie the. Um, expenses to the local communities. And we will uh, separately allocate money to the Capadian, uh, pre-Capadian regions, to the Black Sea regions. Uh, in order to do that, we have to reform the state uh, uh, regional Development Fund, what uh, now goes to the regions, uh, but part of that, those money from this state regional fund will go to the urban or rural uh, areas in Capadian region, in the Black Sea region, etc which would allow to develop those territories. And, and of course, strategic documents uh, would become meaningful only under condition that uh, uh, they are supported with investments. Partially, they will go to the regional level. Uh, this is about the reform of the state regional development fund. The next 
we will connect uh, the funding with the strategies. That's why all the local communities uh, uh, bigger than 50,000, they have to develop their strategic development programs. And thus, money will be allocated only to those who have strategies. Then coordination between the central policies. Today we coordinate funding between different funds. All sectoral budgetary programs should be brought together and be made coherent at the level of uh, uh, special committees at the level of the ministries. That is to prevent fi funding in the areas which are not top priorities. And we found out that it is more useful to uh, concentrate funding at the level of regional development fund instead of uh, 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 allocating them to different uh, target funds. Uh, for example, uh, uh, separate uh, subventions uh, at the educational or cultural level uh, to rural areas are useless, actually, they, if they're uh, done for the um, separate community. And uh, currently we I discuss how to assist local communities in support of their basic infrastructure in the regions, but that will develop, uh, but this will depend uh, on the local needs, uh, uh, depending on the available uh, funds. <laughs> so this basic infrastructural subvention is now under discussion. Then we focused on the centers uh, 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 of economic growth. This are uh, around 110, 120. Um, communities, uh, and uh, they would uh, be primary partners uh, where the government, uh, central government, will invest. And uh, there was one technical issue during today's discussion. Uh, the distribution of the projects based on the DFRR uh, approach. Uh, but actually, you are asking the question whether money will be allocated based on, on party principle or based on what uh, principle. Maybe you would uh, cancel that uh, subvention which goes to the regions via their members of parliament. Uh, 
So the major thing is to connect uh, allocation of strategic money to the strategic development program. Our task is to re revive the major infrastructural uh, framework uh, in the regions within three years. And uh, irrespectively, which commission will deal with that? When you discuss a small field bridge, this is uh, this means development of the t of tourism. But if this is about uh, a big company which develop, which repairs a bridge in the village, which leads uh, to the uh, to the enterprise. You may take a list of the objects of the State Regional Development Fund for 2021. There is no one project with small impact on the social uh, communities. These are all important projects for the local communities. There are either big uh, uh, importance uh, we managed to do this successfully, the selection of projects. Thank you, Ivan. We have heard uh, about the approach of the ministry. Ivan, now the f mic goes to you. And uh, you may refer to all the questions. Income tax was discussed. I believe that one of the ways to have more income tax, it should be paid where people work. I will give you an example. An investor came and built solar battery in the territory of the former farm, and the territory is improved and investment is will be good, we believe, but we got zero. Two million were expected in taxes, and this is great money for, the, for our community, and we wanted to co-finance, but the enterprise was reg he was the entrepreneur was registered in another place, and taxes were paid in another place, and we got zero. And uh, we believe that people will pay taxes, but all other workers were registered in other place, and we got nothing from the land, land lease. This land was not uh, this land is outside of the town, and uh, not less than 10% should have been provided, but only 4% were provided. So this is about investment. Income tax should be paid where people work, even communal enterprises. We should cancel tenders for our communal enterprises. For example, Nikolai Firm got the contract to, uh, for um, uh, removal of grass, also maintenance of external lighting. Kharkiv Firm got this contract. They employed our people. Some income tax was paid, but there is chaos. And Anatoly Fedorovich said it correctly. We should consider the influence on the budget, and income tax should be paid locally. 
where people work and where we have our schools, kindergartens, our roads, about state investment. We are really thankful. We got many projects uh, from uh, f um, state uh, fund for development. We have infrastructure subsidy, and uh, we believe that uh, the su uh, subsidy should be returned. And uh, Mikhail Ivanovich said it correctly. Uh, this was fair subsidy because it included the number of people and the territory, and this is really important, and each community may get something out of it. And uh, uh, also many communities cooperated with the fund for uh, development of the regions, uh, and I did, haven't dealt with it myself. So um, I believe that our deputies clearly understand this issue, and it's great that the Ministry of Regional Development and the representatives of other um, and representatives of other ministries uh, participate and uh, that proper laws will be approved. And the communities, they know the uh, problems and uh, they uh, also participate. So I will provide the floor to our colleagues that we'll have at the end. And now I give the floor to Anatoly Fyodorovich and then we will end our discussion. I had an article about solar uh, stations, um, and I believe that you would like it if you read it. Uh, so uh, everything we plan, we should first calculate everything. Second, we should consider the options, and we choose the should choose the best option we have. We should proper model and plan, and we should see the dynamics, and we may consider all options. And um, we have five years of experience uh, of um, uh, we, and we would like to thank our deputies. They left earlier. We thank you for intellectual discussion. I believe that our discussion was really successful, and I give the floor to our colleagues. I cannot hear them. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, really, what a delightful and exciting day this is. Uh, graduation, always a great time. Uh, makes some of you f feel younger, uh, <clears throat> but so much promise and life uh, ahead of you. So uh, it really, two things come to mind. The first is, of course, that almost five years ago, uh, when I arrived and we started doing meetings in the different oblasts and inviting communities to come here about Dobre program, and many of you uh, came and visited, talked with us, weren't sure, uncertain, but you know, took the chance to join the Dobre program, uh, and then each succeeding group, you know, had the same, you know, same process of learning about Dobre, figuring it out. Do we really want to do that? Uh, and you can see the achievements. You know, part of what we're celebrating today, what you're celebrating today, you know, are the achievements because you've done so much uh, in these few years that you've been part of the Dobre program. Uh, I've had the honor to uh, visit all 75 communities of uh, the first three cohorts, and, um, and I can see the difference. I, I can physically see it in what's happened in each of these uh, communities, uh, and I can see it in, in the changes in the people, not just the officials, but in the community, in youth, uh, activists, uh, parents, other people who, who came out and got involved in, in the process. So. Um, it's exciting, and really, it's a, it's a day to pat yourself on the back. I'm going to give you a round of applause for doing such great work and really starting the transformation of your community. But the other part of a graduation is um, 
sending, you know, sending you off uh, to be on your own uh, or more on your own uh, to keep talking to your community, keep talking to other communities, your peers, uh, keeping those connections going and really make continuing to make the improvements because that's part of what this is all about. Uh, it's 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 the things that you've learned and the things that you've done, you can build on those, but you can also share them with others. And I know a lot of you are already mentors for cohort four, uh, and you should continue that, reach out. So continue talking to your communities, uh, continue the great progress that you've made because it's been phenomenal, really. Uh, I can attest to it, others too, as well. Uh, and it's just was such an honor to be a part of this uh, and me and I'm sure everybody else on the Dobre team and uh, USAID looks forward to even more progress, the kind of progress you continue to make without, a, without our direct assistance anymore because you're capable of doing that. Uh, and I'll always have fond memories of Ukraine and I'll always look forward to visiting again and coming out of the communities and visiting you. So this is your day. Congratulations. I want to give you a round of applause for all that you've accomplished. And I know that as you go out into the world, you'll accomplish so much more and keep improving your communities. So thank you so much and really congratulations. And we'll see you down the road in your communities. <laughs>